Hey Libra, it's Goddess Puff, and this is the Harsh Truth for March 2022. All right, let's get started with an Oracle card message for Libra. The Harsh Truth for March 2022 for Libra. The Harsh Truth for March 2022 for Libra. Last Shuffle, The Harsh Truth for March 2022 for Libra. We have Ancestors 3. And I think um, I'm already comparing your reading to Taurus. So you may want to check out the Taurus reading. <laughs> we have Third Harvest. Greet the Darkness. Yeah, definitely check out the Taurus reading. Overall energy is Dark Moon 13, which is also a 4. Oh, we have 3, 38 which is an 11, 19, which is a 10, and 13, which is a four. These numbers could be dates, times, ages, put it where it goes for you. But yeah, I'm getting like, hmm, you may be doing something during a literal dark moon phase, um, some type of ritual or harvest that uh, runs in your family. And a ritual does not have to be you shouting at the moon. It could literally be something that you do on a particular day during the month, like cleaning, cleaning your house, cooking a certain meal, you know, just something that you do ritualistically. I mean, we all perform rituals every day. We have morning routines, that's a ritual. So every time someone says a ritual or routine or whatever, don't get so scared by it. But I feel like there's something that runs in your family that you do every dark moon and that's what I see you doing. I think for some of you you don't realize that your family does this on a dark moon it just happens to be or happens to always fall on the date of that of a dark moon phase and then it says greet the darkness so i feel like you're welcoming it in opening your home up to that all right i'm gonna get into the tarot and see what this is though for libra the heart Truth for Libra, March 2022. Harsh Truth for Libra, March 2022. Two more shuffles. Harsh Truth for Libra, for March 2022. And last shuffle. The Harsh Truth for Libra, for March 2022. All right. We have Eight of Pentacles, 61, which is also a seven. Yeah, with Third Harvest and the Eight of Pentacles, you're working your ass off. Your ancestors worked their ass off to pave the way for this as well. I got August 3rd or March 8th. March 8th, yeah. Eight of Wands, 27, which is a nine. You got mess. Okay, yeah. So you've been working your ass off and you're reaping the rewards of that. Especially with ancestors and Third Harvest. You may run a family business or a farm or something like that, but you've been working your ass off and you're about to get it back. I feel like this is instant um, instant karma in a good way. You work your ass off on a Saturday and you immediately you pay back on a Sunday. Knight of Wands. I feel like this is you, but I also feel like there is someone blowing up your phone while you're at work. Overall energy is the page of pentacles. Yeah. And it could be literally a pager or an Apple watch or something like that. That's 21. Also a three. We have 18, which is a nine and 27, which is an 11. But I feel like someone could be blowing up your phone while you're at work. Someone who wants to come work for you or with you while you're busy. You could be a hiring manager for some of you. And it could be the other way around. But I feel like, yeah, you're hard at work. You're getting instant rewards. The harder you work, the hard, um, the more uh, the more positive responses you get. The more income choices, the more partnerships. The harder you work, the more you get. You get it back instantly, too. But I feel like there's someone who's, like, trying to get in on that or work with you. Clarif Let me clarify this. Clarify this message for Libra. Clarify this message for Libra. Is someone trying to infiltrate a family business. So this is Greek darkness with the Knight of Wands and overall the Dark Moon. 
So you may welcome this Knight of Wands in. Maybe it'll be a, a pleasant surprise or rest from this hard work, if you know what I mean. All right, two more shuffles. Clarify this for Libra. Five shuffles. Please clarify this message for Libra. Also, we have two eights here. Eight of Pentacles and Eight of Wands. So I'm getting fast results. Let me write that down real quick. Fast results of something. So if you're trying to bring in love, spice, attention, sex, whatever it is that you're trying to harvest or whatever spell or whatever your ancestors left you behind and how to like attract, it's happening instantly. So whatever you're performing is happening. You're getting instant results. Clarifying the eight of pentacles is the four of wands. So yeah, you have a, a business or you're working hard on a marriage or a home or a relationship. I feel like it's all... It's all the same here. You're getting the same response from your love life as you are at work. And I feel like you're using cinnamon in these spells, cinnamon sticks. Eight of swords, overthinking. You got three eights here. If you hear noise in the background, that's my guinea pig flipping the bowl in her cage. I don't know why they do that. Y'all acting real brand new. Clarifying the eight of wands is the six of swords. And the Knight of Wands. So I feel like you're working hard. And here's someone with the Six of Swords. Ooh. Okay. I do feel like there's a buyer, someone who wants to um, pay you to work with you. I also see that you going out to, to sell something and getting paid instantly. Getting paid on the spot. But I am kind of seeing like a hookup energy as well. Whether you're in a relationship or not, you could be hooking up with your partner for a quick one or something like that. <laughs> but I am seeing like, if you're overthinking like how much work you put into something, it is going to pay off or how much work a family business has been put into or how much work you put into this family business, it's going to pay off. Your hard work is going to pay off instantly. Someone's messaging you because they want to meet up or sell you something or buy something from you. They're going to pay you on the spot. But I feel like this Knight of Wands wants to either pay you or get paid or work with you or something like that. It's going to be equal give and take with this person. And clarifying the Knight of Wands is the Ace of Wands. Yeah. So you could be inspired by this person or they could be inspired by you to work with you. I feel like this is like some type of partnership. This person wants to work with you. Also, they want to sleep with you and work with you at the same time or work for you. Five of Cups. You have, yeah, you got history with this person. I feel like they're more so disappointed about the past than you are. Overall energy is the hangman, Pisces, seeing both sides of the situation, gaining enlightenment, also not taking action on this person instantly. I feel like this person wants sex and you just want work. Yeah, I see you're, um, you're entertained by it. You're welcoming to working with this person. Well, again, I feel like this person wants sex and you just want to work. I feel like you're overthinking this interaction with this person or overthinking allowing them to work with you. Because again, I do feel like you could be a good partnership. They're providing you a source or an idea that's very lucrative for you. And they will pay you instantly. But I feel like you do have history with this person. Let me get you, um, hmm. Let me check behind here. Yeah, with the moon card, Pisces, always something hidden. Five of swords, the empress, there you are. This person, yeah, so you have history with this person, Wheel of Fortune, Death Card, Scorpio, Virgo, dang, Wheel of Fortune, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leon, Taurus. Yeah, you got some history with this person. I feel like they they talked a lot of shit about you in the past, or maybe you talked a lot of shit about them, I don't know. Mm, I wouldn't work with them. I'll give it a no. Because they're here today, gone tomorrow. I mean, they're dependable at the moment. And they'll pay you. They're good. I feel like it's a merchant. I don't know why I want to say merchant at the moment. A good vendor or merchant at the moment. But yeah, Five of Swords is here again. Queen of Swords. Ten of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. So they keep getting Five of Swords. So I'm seeing a lot of negativity surrounding this person. A lot of negative things being said. And what's underneath here? Four of Cups. Two of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. So I would say no. 
but with the nine of pentacles and the two of cups i do see like with oh with the virgo though and justice ten of wands so i say um it's better i prefer for you to work with a virgo instead because this person is only showing up as the Knight of Wands, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, just someone just very immature. Again, I mean, they get the job done, but not in the way you would want. They move quickly, but as not as professionally as you would like. And this person wants to mix business and pleasure. Again, you two would work very well together. They, they'll pay you instantaneously, but they're too, um, they're too spontaneous. They'll just, here today, gone tomorrow is what I'll say. You can't trust them. I mean, you can trust them to pay you and get the job done for like maybe a month or two. But after that, you don't know. They're, they'll be gone off somewhere else. You won't be able to get in contact with them as much. They'll come into work whenever they feel like it, whenever they want to. And they'll do the same thing in a relationship. This person, if you do decide to sleep with them, it's going to be a one-night stand type deal. They may even ask you to, for one of you here, this person will ask you to marry them the night you meet them. You can't trust this person. Too childish, too fickle. This is the type of person, years down the line, to abandon a family they created. It's just, it's, it's messy. It's very messy because they come on very strong and they are dependable in the beginning. But after like the first couple months or couple, yeah, first couple months, honestly, they're gone. After they created something established and made everyone comfortable, they leave and you can't, you can't get in contact with them. It's like talking to someone every day for a month and seeing them every day and just having so much fun and they just fall off the face of the earth. You can't get in touch with them. That's the type of person this is. They gain your trust and leave. All right, final message for Gemini. Oh, sorry, no. Why did I say Gemini? Final message for Libra. <laughs> final message for Libra. Two more shuffle. Final message for Libra. And last shuffle. Final message for Libra. My mystical. All right, we have Rabbit. I've yet to see this card. That's cute. We have Chicken. And we have Apple. Overall energy is elixir. Yeah. I feel like this person, again, they they stay around long enough. And it's like they come on strong and gain your trust. And they do everything quickly. And they seem so reliable and trusting like a breath of fresh air at first. You get, they get tired. It gets tired after the first couple months. I'm getting literally after a month or two on the third, they fall off the face of the earth. And you'll never get in touch with them until maybe a month or two later. All right, we have rabbit, waiting, making leaps, adventure. And that's what I feel like this person is bringing to you. But with waiting and making leaps, working your ass off for something that your ancestors created for you or something that you created for yourself and your family, for your business, your home, working your ass off and being patient, working diligently, and you are, and that's what I was getting, like fast results, instant gratification. You can get that on your own. But I'm also getting the lesson of, you know, I feel like you're the type of person who will work hard for a while to get something sustainable that'll continuously grow. Whereas this person comes in with instant gratification and it's enticing, but it's not stable from this person. Not saying that you can't get instant gratification and it be stable and it be good, but this person is not it. With chicken, we have the cackle, ancient past lore. And that's what I'm getting from this person. I feel like you have a past disappointment with this person or these types. I feel like this person may try to tell you um, sob stories of their past and not trusting people. And that gains um, gains your trust. And then with Apple, we have the senses, hunger, and sex. And it's right above, right on top of the Ace of Wands, clarifying the Knight of Wands. Yeah, it's like as soon as they gain your trust, they'll, they'll leave. 
I mean, if that's what you're fine with, go off. I'm just, this is the harsh truth. I'm just warning you. Overall energy, health, toxicity, attending with elixir. Don't do it. Don't do it. I know you've been working hard and these fast results seem enticing. But nine times out of 10, most often it's, it's much better to work for something and build up versus instant gratification i forgot the term but basically like if it's love bombing and it's happening so fast nine times out of ten it's not it versus something that's hard earned more sustainable more reliable all right i'm gonna leave it there if this reading resonated don't forget to give me a like comment subscribe or share if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me all of my information is in Oh, excuse me, the description box below. If you would like to check out my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry, which I have so much on right now, her Etsy is linked below. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.